another travelogue. I wasn't going to film going up to uh, Turner Falls, but decided I'd do it anyway. It would have been a lot more fun with my wife and grandkids with me, but they're visiting baby girl, my baby girl, the grandchildren's mom. This is part of the area here. Um, my buddy Jerry owns all this. He and his wife Diane do. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. the other day but it was a lot more shaky and a lot more messed up because I had as of yet bought this little six dollar tripod which makes it a lot better RVs keep left well technically I'm not an RV again this old van used to be one and it's uh, since been turned into just a van that's, I just had to stop and wave at the gal. It's really chilly today. Um, got down plum cold last night. I've got, and it was cold this morning when I went to the office, it's 43 degrees. Which if you're from cold country, that's like a summer breeze. But I'm not from cold country. I'm uh, far from it. I'm from the south. Low water crossing. There have been times of water set in tents going across this that uh, you can't get a car across it. And that means that if you were in here when that happens, you're stuck. I don't know if they're ever going to look at putting a, an escape route on this side or not. I don't know how that would work. I don't know if they could do that. My three oldest sons work back up in here. They're clearing a 
property, there's a national race, side-by-side, off-road race, coming uh, the 23rd, I think it is. And uh, it's coming right through Turner Falls. The city of Davis, Oklahoma, owns a place called the Crossbar Ranch that some folks have uh, leased. And uh, they also own this park here. Long old hill to go up. Every now and then you get surprised like just then somebody coming up and uh, approaching you. The other day I came through here and they had dump trucks coming back and forth because they're building a giant parking lot on top of one of these mountains for the folks doing the racing and the guests and stuff. This is a very popular attraction. They're supposed to have everybody working for the city of Davis in here cleaning up. It doesn't look like they're doing it. Oh, it's my second oldest hemorrhoid. I'm filming. filming? <laughs> yeah. Right. That would be my son Nick on a side by side. I'm just coming through to see what it looks like. Right. Normally, you catch him on a backhoe. And that would be my son Benjamin. And <laughs> some guy with a beard, that wouldn't be one of my sons. I don't think any of my sons have a beard right now. They're mowing and cleaning up before the big race day. stuff off the road. I don't know who that is. It's not one of my boys. This is quite the place actually. I think they've got all the gravel posted up here. We'll look see. I'll probably have to back down. Yep, I won't have to back down. 
they haven't compacted it yet but this would be a parking lot for uh, folks to park on that's going to the big race and there's the uh, compactor that's supposed to press the gravel down About a month ago, none of these trees were trimmed up like this. They weren't canopied. My sons are the primary people that trimmed all this up and got it presentable looking. Hard-working men. And there's some people camped out down there. Well, that's the vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless you and I'll catch you later.